Hi everyone, as many people ask me about how to use the spreading system of DJ Agris. So today I will introduce something about how to set parameters when using the spreading system. Okay, let's go. So here is a table for spreading parameter suggestion of DJ Agris T series. Okay. And here it shows the pictures for different DJ Agris. For example, we call this one spreading system version 3, right? For T30, okay? <clears throat> and also uh, for T10, and also spreading system version 2 for T20. And the applicable material size is the same, okay? It's from 0 0.5 to 5 millimeters dry granule. This shows the material size applicable for different spreading systems. Okay. If it's too big, then you could not use DJ Agress to spread. And also here it shows the different maximum loads for different DJ Agress. And here it shows maintenance requirement for different spreading systems. Actually, for T-series, the spreading system should be clean up the residue in time after operation and keep it dry. By which it means you could not use water to wash the spreading system directly, okay? Because they are not waterproof. Please just be careful about this. But of course, in near future, if we have new products, I think they will be waterproof. And the next content is the basic knowledge of spreading parameters. For example, uh, here it shows the amount used per hectare, flat speed, load spacing, height, rotating speed, opening size of the spreading disks, right? Um, firstly, for the amount used per hectare, it means granules spread per hectare. And uh, if you know about how to spray using DJ Agress, then you know this concept, I think, okay? And for flight speed, here is an attention for you, okay? The faster the speed, the higher the efficiency. But generally, it is recommended to be less than six meters per second. And also, um, here are some notes for you, and you could read it carefully. For example, for rice seeds or for fertilizers, per hectare, the amount used could be different. And here for the height, okay? Actually, the height is related to the load spacing. Yeah, they have strong relationship with each other. For example, the higher the height, the larger the spread width, but it should be kept within four meters if possible. And also, Spreading generally has little drift problems, so the flight height is generally bigger than that for the spraying operation. For example, for the spraying liquids, the drop plates may drift, right? So the hair could not be too big. But for the spreading system, you could make the head a little higher during operation. The next is the opening size of the spreading disc. Here is an attention for you also. For T20, the opening size should be set manually. But for T30 or T10, uh, you don't have to set, set this parameter, okay? It will be set automatically. And here are some precautions of spreading application for you. You could read it when available, okay? And here, what I would like to emphasize is about the maintenance, yeah? Firstly, for the uh, spreading granules in the tank, please try to use brush to clean, okay? If there are some leftovers, then please use brush to clean it. And secondly, avoid the granules from entering the distribution board. If green particle is found, please use alcohol to clean up immediately. And next, I set some examples about how to spread rice seeds, okay, in different areas, for example, in South China or North China, just an example for you, and also for uh, spreading 
rape seeds, fertilizers. Here are some uh, parameters suggestion for you. But because the situation in your country could be different, right? And the species of seeds or fertilizers could be different. So the parameters is just for your reference. Here I would like to mention that rotating speed uh, is generally around 1000 RPM. And as I mentioned just now, for T20 or T16, you should set the opening size of spreading disk, right, manually. Okay, so here is the parameter for you, uh, also for your reference. And here also are some precautions for use. Okay, for example, if you spread the right seeds, right, the right spot length should be controlled within five millimeters. Okay, if too long, it's easy to be blocked. Okay, and also the right spot may be damaged. Another example here for you, if you spray some light seeds like root seeds, right? They use less amount per hectare, right? It can be mixed with a small amount of fertilizer together, okay? So the weight will, will be bigger, okay? But in this situation, you have to calculate how many amount of fertilizer you will mix with the seeds and to make the total amount of granules bigger so that the spreading system can be used smoothly, okay? Also, you could change to use sands to mix with the seeds, okay? Yeah. And also, for this situation, if any questions, you could consult with the after sales of DJI, okay? And here, also some items for you to pay attention to, okay? For example, firstly, please do the tear calibration operation before uh, spreading, okay? And also before T30 or T10 spreading new granules, it is necessary to create a new template and inside the flow calibration. And for this, I have some videos in my YouTube and Facebook about how to calibrate the flow rate and uh, how to do the tail calibration. Okay, you could refer to my uh, account. My account for YouTube and uh, Facebook is Nikki Ye. That's N I C K Y Y E. Welcome to my YouTube and Facebook platform. The last one is that the spreading material is solid with different criteria, so the flow rate is largely different. Remember to calibrate the flow rate in advance, okay? Yeah, this is the difference between the granules and the liquid, okay?